Jim, does ESA accreditation require a shop to maintain an active formal technician training program? Yes, they do. We're constantly trying to teach our techs different levels on winding, mechanical, and machining backgrounds. Describe the Reed Electric training program. Well, one of them is, is that we download webinars twice a month. along with our internal videos as you see in this background here. Does it work? Yes, it does. What extra step does Reed use to ensure the technicians retain this training? Well, we do internal testing. And how does the accreditation auditor determine the active training program is in effect at an accredited shop? Well, each one of the employees that attended that seminar signs off after he's done doing the test along with a program of the test being attached. We actually take out the format that we were doing the testing on, along with the signatures of the employees that attended, that he can review. So it pretty much comes down to the Johnny Hancock. Yep. I'm going to show you a roller bearing. This is a NU roller bearing, meaning that the race comes out has no shoulders, it could pass all the way through the ID of the roller bearing. This particular motor is mounted with a shaft current brush attached to it, but the reason for it is, is that the stator acts as a transformer and it transforms an induction voltage into the rotor. This is the Koyo version of the same 29434. So if you look at them, there's a considerable difference in the size of the two rollers even though that is two rollers welded together. <laughs> this one was actually running, and the last person who repaired it tried to stop oil leaking by plugging the port that allows the oil to get to the bearing. It doesn't allow for oil to pass through it very well. So if you're stacking them, you will most likely starve the second or third bearing from getting any oil and smoke it. It's got a pink, an orange, a green, and actually a black which is the one we're going to use for the large lead wire that's attached with the lug down below. From shaft current. This particular motor wasn't being run on a VFD. It was straight across line. It was inherent to the design of the motor. These come in a normally closed or a normally open position. The idea of using the ohm meter right now is to make sure that we've got a good ground. You can ground with one lead any place like on the nameplate as long as it's got a path 